this is unit two, lesson four, and today we're going to talk about rotations. So the top chart right here has one, an example of a rotation, a reflection, and a translation. Now we've already done reflections and translations, so those you should be able to figure out, and the rotation is going to be the one that's left. So if you want to take a minute, pause the video, try to fill in that chart, and then you can put the video on again to test, to see, check what you got. All right, so the first one, you have to look at the coordinates. So this is A on the left, C on the right, and B on the bottom. And now B prime is on the top, A prime is on the left, C prime is on the right. You can see that I just took this and I flipped it over the x-axis. This is a reflection. A reflection is just when you flip something over. Is the size preserved? Yes, a reflection is a rigid motion. Is the orientation preserved? Now remember the orientation of the order of the letters. So if I look at this, look at the original, start at A and go clockwise, it goes A, C, B. Start at A prime on the other one and it goes A prime, B prime, C prime. So the orientation is not preserved. So this is an opposite isometry, okay? Now I'm gonna do the last one because I want to show you that, look at the order of the letters, A, C, B, and the order of the letters, A prime, C prime, B prime. This orientation is preserved. I didn't flip this, I just translated. Every point was moved the same distance in the same direction. So this last one on the right is a translation. The size is still preserved. We already said the orientation is preserved. This is a direct isometry. And the new one that we have is a rotation. The rotation is just a turning of an object. So notice the orientation stays the same. If I start at A and I go clockwise, this goes A, C, B. If I start at A prime and I go clockwise, it still goes A prime, C prime, B prime. So the orientation is still preserved. The size is preserved. And since the orientation is preserved, this is called a direct isometry. So the new one that we're doing today is rotation. So let's define what a rotation is. A rotation is a rigid motion. So that means the length and the angle measure are preserved. A rigid motion that turns a figure about a point called the center of rotation. So it turns a figure about a fixed point called center of rotation. Usually that fixed point is going to be the origin right here. The angle of rotation, so when we do a rotation, we measure the number of degrees that we rotate it. The angle of rotation is the number of degrees the figure rotates. And our typical degrees that we use are 90, 180, 270, and 360. The thing that's different about a rotation is that our rotations are always counterclockwise. So if I have a positive angle of rotation, that turns counterclockwise and a negative angle of rotation turns clockwise. So all of our rotations are assumed to be counterclockwise unless there is a negative angle there for us. So we're actually going to use the same picture that we did back in lesson one when we were doing our reflections. We're going to take the point 4, 2, and we're going to rotate it as stated, and we're going to plot the new point and state its new coordinates. All right? And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to be able to do this here, but I'm going to show you in class how you can also turn the paper to find the image. Okay? But um, for right now, we're just going to rotate it. Now, all of our rotations are assumed to be about the origin. So it's sort of like if you connect this pre-image to the origin, and I want to do 90 degrees, okay, so it's going to be up here, whoops, um, and it's going to be right there, oh, I went too far, let me just fix it, 
it's going to be right here at that point. And I'm, I memorize the rules, so, and I'll show you how to do it with the paper tomorrow. But see how this makes a 90 degree angle. So the point 4, 2 went to the point negative 2, 4. Right? A 180. Um, so the point 4, 2 is going to go to negative 4, negative 2. So let me just show you negative 4, negative 2 is down here. <laughs> and if I was to connect the image and the pre-image together, it goes through the origin. And look, it's a straight line. And a straight line is 180 degrees. Right? And then I have 270. The rotation of 270, the point 42 is going to become 2, negative 4. Let me show you what that looks like. It's right here. And if I was to connect the image and the pre-image to the origin, this is a rotation of 270 degrees. All right? And 360 is all the way around. So I'm starting here and I'm going to go all the way around and wind up right back where... I started from so it's going to stay the same at 4 2 okay so these rules are definitely a little bit harder than the reflection rules um, there are three of them because to memorize 90 180 and 270 you do not need to memorize the 360 because nothing happens with 360 um, but let's write down these rules so rotation of 90 x y becomes negative y x so basically you change the sign of the y it, the y goes into the x position and the x goes into the y position. 180, you're just changing the sign of the x and the y. They're not changing positions. And 270 is y negative x. So you change the sign of the x, the x goes in the y spot, and the y goes in the x spot. And 360 does nothing because it goes all the way back and it's just going to stay at x, y. So yes, these are rules that we do need to memorize and no okay and i will show you tomorrow how you can sort of turn the paper if you want to if you forgot those rules all right so let's look at example three given triangle c o w with vertices c is negative one two o is negative one five and w is negative three three graph triangle c o w on the axis provided so i got to go to negative one two and then I have negative 1, 5, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be a little small. It's going to be on top of each other. And then I have negative 3, 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So I have C, O, W. Second part wants me to graph and state the coordinates of C prime, O prime, W, w prime, the image of triangle C, O, W after a rotation of 180. All right, so we'll just look up here. What's our rule for rotation of 180? Our rule for rotation of 180 is that x, y becomes negative x, negative y. Easy enough. So C prime, change the sign of the x, change the sign of the y. O prime, change the sign of the x, change the sign of the y. And W prime, change the sign of the x, change the sign of the y. So I'm going to plot each of these. So 1, negative 2, that's my C prime. 1, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's my W prime. And 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Oops, C prime. Uh, oh, that was my W prime. Let's fix that. So that's my W prime. And I connect them. It should be the same shape, same size. All I've done is change the position of it. What type of isometry is this? This is a direct isometry. The orientation has not changed. Okay, and I can check that. Great. And that was it. Okay. We'll practice that tomorrow.